Hey yo, it's Dadger Badger, and welcome back! It's good to see you. We're going to be continuing Alice Mare today, and we have finally reached the point where um, we have to choose who to stab with a n key in order to open a door that gets me out of this world. Now, I did a little bit more research before I dove right on into this, and apparently there are various different endings to this game. I don't know what the endings are, but I know how to get to the endings. Um, so I'm going to be playing a little bit longer, and I'm going to be giving you guys each ending. So I'm going to save um, here, 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 and here. And then I will be doing each ending in these slots. And there's more endings to it. It's just I'm going to be using those. So... Um, basically, to do the initial endings, you have to choose one of these students in order to get out. And we're going to be doing those. And I know that there's a way to get out by going into this door. And, um, but we're not going to do that one just yet. We're going to do... We're going to choose each one individually and see each ending. So let's go and choose... Letty. Yeah. <laughs> I already don't want to do this. Here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! So I'm out of the dream. Wow. Can I read the notebooks? I can't. I cannot read. I don't have any of the notebooks. Are they in their room? Oh, hey, Letty has her notebook in here. The Burgundy Notebook. Let's read the Burgundy Notebook. Wait. What? Oh, here we go. There was a butterfly in the garden today. I tried to get it, give it a cookie. Teacher gave me. I try. Uh, sorry, I tried to give it a cookie. Teacher gave me, but the butterfly seemed to like the flowers better. Are flowers tasty? I wonder. Are they sweeter than sweets? It rained today. Rain makes everything all damp, and you can't play outside. I hate it. I found myself thinking it'd be nice if all this rain were candy. Anyway, I need to do schoolwork. Oh, I've been slacking. I mistook Rick's notebook for mine, and he got angry at me. I didn't know, I didn't look at what he wrote, but I know he looks so sad. Am I a bad kid, teacher? I'll need to properly tell him I'm sorry later. I know why. I know why mother and father in our home burned, but I won't say it, because it'll only make Rick more sad. I need to be stronger. Teacher, please teach me more things. Oh. Was that the ending? Yep, that was the Letty ending. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. So that's the Letty ending. Huh, I guess you can only read the notebooks if you get out of that world and you choose each one. I forgot to talk to Letty. I don't know what happens if you talk to Letty. I don't know what she says, but...
that's nice. I'll uh, I'll let this I'll let the credits play and I'll come back whenever I'm about to do another uh, ending. Oh, Rick, my, you're already asleep. I should go to bed too. Teacher will get mad. Hey, I wonder how many more times I'll be able to tell you good night, Rick. That was the two of us end. Okay, let's start it back up. Alright, so now we're going to be going and doing the Chelsea end. Here we go. Okay, so let's go out here. Can I go in here? Look at them. What does. But he has nothing to say. So. Here's Chelsea. I don't want to read that just yet. Okay, hold on. Alright, what does Chelsea say? Oh. Chelsea has nothing to say. So they don't have anything to say whatsoever. So you don't have to say anything to them. Okay. So just read the notebook. Alright, a vermilion notebook. How did she spell her name? It's very scary in the afternoon when the sky turns all red. I really don't like thunder either. It sounds so scary. Teacher, can you change the color of the sky? Today, Letty invited me to play outside. We played in the flower garden. Then suddenly I saw a caterpillar on my shoulder, and I yelped and cried. Joshua was nearby, and he took the caterpillar. I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was collecting frogs. Be careful, teacher. <laughs> Teddy's arm came off. What should I do? I'm scared. He's falling apart. What if the same thing happens again? Help me. That night, I had a dream where I saw it again. Teacher, I'm sorry for asking the impossible, and so late at night, too. It's just... it hurts. I can't let it happen. Will it happen again someday? Will the day come when I can live with mother and father? Hmm. Why did I kill the wolf then? I had no choice but to kill it. Father, are you well, mother? Please hurry. I need to stay well, too. I'm sorry. And that was the color red ending. Oh. Okay, so let's go back to this one. Alright, and now we have to do. Is this. Yep, yeah, now we have to do Joshua's ending. Here we go! Stab him with the gate! Just stab him! Just stab the crap out of him! Just do it! Just do it!
Okay. Let's go in here and talk to Joshua. Does he say anything or is it just no response? Yeah, the other thing's no response. Alright. Turquoise notebook. Joshua. Today, I found a frog with a weird pattern on it. When teacher was sleeping, I snuck it in his hood. I think it likes it. I also put one on his desk, in his pocket, and on his head. It's been getting cold, so it was tough to find them. I think we've got way too much homework. Why does homework have to be such a pain? That kid who arrived, Alan, he seems super smart. I'm impressed. Of course, I'm doing my homework. Don't doubt me. My hat was gone when I woke up this morning. I got really uneasy. I finally found it under my bed. I thought I was going to die. Why did I feel that way? Why did I say such a thing? How did I feel back then? I don't remember what I've said or haven't said. It's definitely best not to say anything, but they won't look at me if I don't speak up, will they? Sorry for everything, teacher. Does the moon only have a round shape? Or is it a square and a triangle too? It doesn't see snow in the summer. Yeah, that sounds right. Cats aren't as big as a bus. Can't be. And dogs, too. You need a coat in the winter. Don't need one in summer. Then what about me? Was I needed or unneeded? That was the crying wolf end. Okay. And now we need to go to the Stella end. Here we go. Stab her. Just stab the fuck out of her. Just do it. So I'm awake. Let's go. Let's go. Stella, I'm here for your book. A black notebook. Let's see what's inside. There's a small church drawn in the corner. A lot of drawings of apples. One page is colored completely black. Teacher's eyes. The same. Pitch black. Strange. The same eyes as that town. Yet he breathes. Why? That didn't make much sense at all. Okay. So that was a thing. They died again. Everyone died. Why don't I die? Why am I still breathing? I'm scared to sleep. Someone might die again. It might be me next. Poison apple ending. I guess that she's, um, Snow White. And I never actually noticed that before. Okay, so we have done all four of the official endings. Or, I wouldn't say official. Uh, we've done all four of the first 
endings for the kids. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here, and in the next episode, I'm going to go into the fifth door and see what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through this playthrough. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends. If you want to see me play anything in particular, leave a suggestion in the comments below. Or you can send me an ask on my Tumblr, which I will leave a link to down below as well. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.